Welcome to this interactive demo of Sedona's NetFusion multi-layer discovery platform. NetFusion's Explorer user interface provides an interactive 3D visualization of a service provider's network. The user can use various camera controls to pan, tilt, and zoom around the network. By default, both the IP and optical layers of the network are displayed. The IP layer is represented on the top plane and the optical layer is displayed under it. Each of these planes can be viewed separately by clicking on the appropriate button in the lower right of the screen. The user can focus on the IP network, the optical network, or the default combined view. The map shows a network consisting of sites that are connected by links. Clicking on an IP link highlights it in orange, while the optical path traversed by that link is highlighted in green. Additionally, a sidebar is displayed showing the details of the selected IP link and its associated optical path. The sidebar displays the layer 3 information on the left and the associated optical information on the right. This visualization, which we call the subway map, allows the user to scroll through the various path elements including routers, optical switches, optical links, and amplifiers. As we hover over the network elements, they are also highlighted on the map. The same process can be used to visualize the path of services on the network, such as MPLSTE tunnels. Selecting a tunnel highlights its multi-layer path in the network map and also displays a subway map view of it in the sidebar. The key to this information is NetFusion's unique ability to automatically discover port-level connectivity between routers and underlying optical equipment. In the subway map view, these are displayed as angled links which bridge the IP layer on the left to the optical layer on the right. On the network map, they are displayed as pins which connect the layer 3 site, represented by a puck, to the underlying optical site, which is represented by a block. This convention is maintained throughout the user interface. Layer 3 elements are always represented as circular and optical elements are always represented as rectangular. Clicking on any element in the network map or the subway map brings up additional details about it. For example, selecting a site in the network map brings up the sidebar which provides the user details about the network objects contained within it, such as routers, links, and even MPLSTE tunnels in the IP layer, as well as optical switches, links, and connections in the optical layer. The third tab lets us see a complete accounting of the port-to-port -port connectivity between routers and optical switches that was automatically discovered by NetFusion. Sites can also be visualized by double-clicking on them. Doing so brings up another window with yet another 3D representation. Here we can see how edge routers are dual home to core routers, which are in turn connected to optical switches. The information contained in the NetFusion network model can also be leveraged to appreciate the multi-layer relationships in the reverse direction. For example, selecting a link within the optical network infrastructure instantly highlights all IP circuits that have a dependency on that particular optical link. This information can be vitally important to network operators trying to plan maintenance activities or improve network resiliency. NetFusion's unique port correlation technology is not limited to associating router ports to optical switches. It is leveraged to shine a light on several areas of the network that are often blind spots for planners and operators. For example, NetFusion automatically and non-intrusively identifies the connectivity between members of an Ethernet bundle. An Ethernet bundle can be expanded to expose its constituent ports and the remote port is automatically and reliably identified. In addition, because NetFusion sees a single, unified, multi-layer network, it can provide valuable information such as the fiber distance that is associated with the link itself. Another blind spot is often hiding in areas of the optical infrastructure where vendor boundaries are crossed. Optical networks do not interoperate across vendors like IP networks do. An IP circuit might originate within one optical domain and terminate in another. NetFusion automatically discovered the port-level optical handoffs between domains. In this example network, the state of California is in one optical domain, while the rest of the national backbone is in another. Therefore, a circuit which originates in Northern California and terminates in Denver is actually implemented by two optical connections, one within California's optical domain and one within the national optical network. The subway map view lets us see this handoff here in Los Angeles. The user can actually zoom in on that portion of the network and see it expand to reveal additional detail. 
We can open the Los Angeles site and see that optical handoff represented as a blue arch between two different vendors' optical switches. The NetFusion user experiences the multi-layered, multi-domain network as a single network. This completes the demonstration of NetFusion's discovery and presentation features. To learn how NetFusion can be used to find and visualize network anomalies, please watch the next video in the series at www.sedonasys.com.